Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Let's Play Some More Fear. For those of you that don't know who I am, my name is Adam. You guys can refer to me as AMF1534. You know what? You guys can actually refer to me to whatever you would like tonight, because I'm in an awesome mood. And Archbishop, once again, is playing something while I'm doing a recording. It's the like the third episode in a row. He just I'm telling you, man, he knows. He knows when I'm doing stuff. But, um, yeah, you guys can refer to me as whatever you want, and I have a feeling that's going to absolutely come back and haunt me, because somebody's going to take complete advantage of that, and it's going to be a really bad idea. But uh, I'll explain to you why I'm in such a good mood here in just a minute, because we got stuff to do, of which the main of Oh, you... <laughs> Don't think I didn't see you over there. You're not hiding from anybody. You're not hiding from me. I see you. I see you, baby. But, uh, yeah, let's let's listen to this, because I, I see it. that's here. Well, all right then. Anywho, so, the reason that I'm in such a good mood is, and for those of you that are small business owners like myself, holy crap, that, oh boy, I don't like that at all. First of all, why is blood coming through those things? Probably because there's something dead in there, I guess. That would make enough sense, but why would it lead me to here? And the more ironic thing is, please help us keep this room clean, i.e. do not let the blood filter in through the ceiling vent. Well, yeah, so, had an awesome, awesome day at work. That is the main reason why I'm in such a good mood. For those of you that are small business owners, you totally understand that, because that means lots of profit that directly affects you. And uh, But the main reason why I'm so happy is that the premiere for The Devil Inside comes out tonight. Whoa! Oh, wow, I caught me off guard a little bit there. I apologize, I did not mean to freak out to that extent. was not ready for it. But yes, the, uh, the objective remains right now to catch up to Mr. Paxton Fettel, obviously. Mr. Feta Cheese just walked by just a second ago. Feta Cheese, Fettel, very similar to Feta, trying to be smart here. Had the witty, the little witty thing there. Ooh, there's a reflex booster here. Please don't let there be a ghost. It's gonna, ooh, there's a corpse right there. He's not gonna get me this time, though. I won't let him. I won't let it happen. Yeah, somebody made, uh, brought up to my attention in my last video that I wasn't using my flashlight enough and it became difficult for them to see. So, thank you guys for voicing your opinion. I'm glad that I can help things out to make these things better for you to watch. But yeah, dude, I'm, I'm so pumped for seeing The Devil Inside. Uh, it's going to be chock full of awesome, really creepy moments. But that doesn't, that's not for another hour or so. So, for the meantime, I will get my kicks this way. And it'll be cool. I... Oh, there he goes again! There's something in the water. There's something in the water, he says. But what is that something in the water, Mr. Fettel? What could you be trying to tell me? If that's even you in the first place. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yeah, there's gonna be... Actually, no, that'd be more of like a paranormal activity moment, but yeah. I saw the, the preview for the devil with... Oh! Oh, you son of a... What is this? This is like a Max Payne moment. This is exactly like a Max Payne moment. I don't like those bloody footsteps, though. Oh, dude, this has it written all over the place. Just making sure there's nobody following me here. Oh, that door's gone. Ah -ho -ho! Get the fuck out of here. Both of you. Yeah, both of you get out now. It's like I've got perma time stop or time slow on right now. Please, don't have something come flying out at me in the middle of reloading. Thank you, God. <sighs> Man, these little moments, dude, they're they're eerie. That's not even working, so that's uh, that's just great. Oh, hello. Wow, that was a nice little shock wave of of fun there. I don't even need to use that, but yeah, I can't even I can't even take it. But yeah, hey, look, this, this movie just looks like it's going to be awesome. Where's where's the... Is it from in there? I mean, I can't go in there, so i got to find an... 
an alternative way to go, and I will take it, and I will look in here. There's gonna be something in here, I just know it. Oh, I don't like those noises. Oh, I was like, what made that noise? Who was that? What is this guy doing, sitting here by himself? Oh! Oh no. This has the writings of bad things all over it. Please tell me this guy's still alive and not completely possessed. Or is this even Paxton? It could be Paxton. I hope not. Oh. Oh my. If that finds her. Oh no. Oh, he's close. He's definitely close. I can feel it deep down in my loins. Ah! Yep, there's people over there. Come on, baby. Don't think, don't think for a second that you and your little, your little team of replicated people are gonna, are gonna get the best of me. Not when I am the man. The man with the plan. I cannot, I cannot be stopped. Cause I'm too hot to stop it. Can't stop the blazers! <laughs> Sorry, there's a blazer game on in the other room, so I'm a little bit in the zone there. Where did that guy go? Oh, there he is. Why'd he go over here? <laughs> I picked probably one of the worst routes to go to try to attack me. What's your status? You're dead. That's your status. No, you don't need backup. I'm just gonna kill the backup. Just like that. But yeah, I'm really, uh, I'm really intrigued to know why... And I don't know if it's just like that they're using it as a marketing ploy, or did the Vatican really not endorse the movie? That's that's what I'm that's what I'm curious about to know. What about it is so bad that they're not like they're like absolutely against the movie? That's pretty rare when you find people that are totally against stuff like that. Like like uh, when the Omen came out in 2006. I remember when they uh, they had like. At least at the theater that I was at. I don't know if it happened everywhere else, but when that came out, they had like, uh, they had like priests outside the movie theater that were like praying for people on the way in because of, you know, of like its like hardcore demonic undertones and everything. That looks like it's gonna explode. Oh no! Why would I shoot that so quickly? What? What was I thinking? Ah, oh, we're back here again. That wasn't. That was. There goes the perfect season, right there. Absolutely did not mean for that to go in, in the fashion that it did. I figured I need to start, to, need to start utilizing this more often than I do, because I don't really do it very often. There we go, he is dead. I'm gonna blow the door open, I'm gonna shoot him in the face, and everything's clear. Ooh, that guy got it bad. But, um, yeah, I, di I just, uh, I remember how bad the Omen was when they did it, but other than that, I can't really think of any other movies that there's been, like, hardcore, you know, people against this type of stuff stuff going on with it. So I'm intrigued. I love, I love, um, taking movies and, like, trying to, like, I challenge them to scare me, because it's pretty rare when that happens. I mean, obviously you guys have seen me get, you know, pretty, pretty creeped out on a number of occasions in this game, but, the oh, 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 he got stuck to that thing. That is... That is that is raunchy right there. Gosh, dude, this thing is. Dude, this this gun really likes to bring it. Oh, you're gonna. Oh, come on. That didn't really do the job at all that I was wanting it to. Oh, no, 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 no! no! I was trying to get the fucking thing off. Ah. Oh. That's what I get. That's what I get. I was being too cute with it. No, oh, jeez. Give me a second. I'm trying to, I'm trying to t check time here, and you guys are getting all not cool about it, and killing me over it all and everything. <laughs> that guy just makes it way too easy to kill him. Oh, another guy. Maybe that's the guy that killed me. Cause I don't remember killing that guy last time. What are we sitting on? 9:45. You know what, I'm going to make this episode a little bit longer because of the fact that I've died twice in it. Normally I'd just, I'd follow protocol and just roll with it, but you know, when you die twice like this, 
I could have very easily been further along by now. I'm doing it for you guys here. That and, you know, I'm still waiting for the movie, so. Wow, nice, nice ninja roll there. I also, there's no reason that I should have died that second time. I got a little bit too cute playing around with that, uh, with that cool gun. And I had no business doing that, and it got me into trouble. And I don't want to pick that gun up yet. I just kind of want to... Oh, shoot. I feel like this gun is, like, wildly inaccurate while you're in the middle of time slow. Also, that could just be me getting a little bit ahead of myself. There we go. Muy excelente. Yeah, well, I'll add a couple minutes onto this video just for the sole purpose that I don't want to, you know, short you guys out there, but, yeah, I, I challenge movies like that to actually scare me, because they never do. I mean, the last time I've really been, like, genuinely like, left uncomfortable from a movie was, I don't know, maybe, like, the first Paranormal Activity. Not, like, not scared. Now, let, now let, don't, I mean, let's let's make a, make a solid thing here. There's a very big difference from being uncomfortable and being scared. I'm, I'm curious as to what was over here now. This looks like the entire way that I'm supposed to go, and I want to know what's over here. But yeah, so I'm just I'm trying to make that point very clear right now. But uh, I have a feeling this has potential of being very, very um, uncomforting. Especially when you get movies where there's, I mean, about exorcisms, because, I mean, that shit's real. I mean, there's nothing about exorcisms that are fake. And so... You know, when that type of... Why would they send me over here? What was the point of coming over here? <laughs> just seeing a dead guy laying over here just to get a pistol? Was that really the whole reason? Huh. Interesting. But yeah, that's just... There's stuff like that that, I don't know, it can get under your skin. And I wouldn't imagine that it's going to get under mine. I mean, I was able to watch... I've seen quite a few exorcism movies and it didn't really creep me out, so... Maybe this... I don't know, maybe this will be the first. And the best part, or the best part is, I'm taking my girlfriend with me, and that has potential of being interesting because she's not really one to do uh, horror movies very well. She's a uh, very, I don't know, what shall I say, easily frightened by things. What are these? Ooh! Oh, sweet! That was for the penetrator. For the coolest sex porn video name thing ever. I don't know why I couldn't speak that. That was really awkward. For the best porn actor name ever is what I was really shooting for there. Whoa. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Yeah, you're not gonna kill... You're not gonna get a cheap kill on me this time. Oh. Yeah, she, and speaking of speaking of my girlfriend, it's even funnier. She actually just texted me just now. Like, that noise that you probably heard was her saying... I'm so nervous, my heart rate has already jumped out the window, and the movie doesn't even start for over an hour. So, that's that's the type of stuff that's happening here. What are we, what are we sitting on now? A couple minutes here? 135? I'd really love to know where Paxton Fettel is right about now. I really want to find him. I want to nail him. I want to extract his ball sack with a cow's elbow it to him upside down while he's hanging from a some stereo wire. Oh, for and then I don't know, maybe like uh, remove his uh, yeah, remove his head again with a ball peen hammer, and then pour uncooled Jello on his exposed spinal cord. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh man! Well, at least I know how to quick save. I'm sorry, guys. This is definitely not one of my cleaner runs. For sure. At least I choose to die in places that aren't particularly very far away from where I was. I'll make sure to be a lot better about this in the next episode. Maybe it's just because I'm rushing myself a little bit here. But, uh, yeah. Cause I'm, I mean, you guys have seen the first five episodes. I'm typically a lot better than this. But uh, now that we're... I mean, I guess this would be a, part, a, a good place to stop. Especially because I need to go take a shower and get ready for this thing. So, uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. When we come back next time, we're obviously getting somewhere close to Paxton Fettel. I don't know where he is. He's quite the elusive little bastard. But we'll, uh, we'll find him. We'll find him. 
And uh, I'll let you guys know what I thought of the movie. Because it's going to be good. It's going to be really good. Anywho, this is your host, AMF 1534, saying I will see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.